Okay. Costume change, costume change. Okay, so our next presentation um, today, uh, that's not it. So let me just have another look. There we go. Okay, so today I'd like to uh, introduce um, Teresita Turner Young um, and uh, the Yaranya Alte artist to come and talk about a project that they've been working with um, on, um, and also from Tanajer artists as well. So the project that they've been working on together um, is called Every Face Has a Story, and Every Story Has a Face. Kulila. This exhibition was featured in the prestigious Tanandi Festival of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Contemporary Art at the South Australian Art Gallery and is currently touring regional uh, South Australian galleries. So please uh, join me in welcoming Teresita, uh, Trudy Inkamala and Marlene Rabuncha to stage. And Dulcie Sharp will be joining us as well. So Teresita will uh, start by telling a little bit about this, this great project um, and about her role as um, an, arts cent an arts centre worker. And uh, I'll hand it over to you and, and come for a few questions in a few minutes. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, Glenn. Hello, everyone. Thanks to Desart for this opportunity, for these wonderful artists and myself to share a journey I was lucky enough to be a part of with their wonderful works. I got invited last year to be a part of Tananti and was asked to speak on behalf of the artists' works, but really the works speak for themselves. The title for these works, Kulila, which means listen, and these artists spreads a deep and meaningful message through these heads. They wanted the audience to listen to their stories as everyone has their own background stories and experiences. They wanted to be heard through these heads because it symbolises who they are as individuals and express themselves into this world. My name's Maureen Rabanka. My name is Trudy Kamala. My name is Dulcie Sharp. Um, think back to when you first started these heads. Um, what was going on in your head? Like, what was you thinking about? What did you feel? Oh, well, I, well, I, I felt just, just thinking about families passing away and going away. That's the one I haven't saw that the tea is that long down like a river. It is too much, and that's what I thought. I might as well do it. That's how I always feel when I'm at home, but just sitting down with my family. Some do did. But now their heads are closing their eye and thinking. I don't know why they think. That's what they did. All these things that we did, and I did, to, to my guy, care for my families, and I think about, it is hard, you know, mm. when your families just leave you. But, but it's good that I'm doing this, and we did this, that we've been called to show to Tantania in Adelaide. 
to show the people and show the, every um, schools in Arden State, showing them how we feel, unhappy, and all that, you know. Well, I did this one with a lot of tears that runs through this dot river. Sometimes I think backward, sometimes I forget about it. But it is my life and continue to move along. I love my heart and I love my soul. And that is my future with my children. And at the heart center, and I pass it on to Jules. Tell <laughs> 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 So yeah, what Tulsi just said, you know, she does her work within the art center, uses all these different bright colors into her, um, her works that she makes. Judy? Wow. Wow. Yeah, Trudy just shared um, that, you know, they create these heads. You know, they get real creative with the heads, different facial expressions, different animals. And yeah, she said that, you know, they sit back in the art centre and do the work, which then gets sent out to big institutions like Art Gallery of South Australia, as well as um, visitors like many of you in the crowd that has purchased a soft sculpture, as well as the White Australia that purchased their soft sculpture. So what Trudy said, um, that their work goes out to new homes while they sit back in the art centre and so more works. So my response to the artist is, so I'm going to share the story about yeah, when I went over to Adelaide during Tanadi and was a part of floor talks within the gallery about the works and like I said before, you know, I can't speak on behalf of the works. The works are there and they're speaking to the audiences on what's been put into these works and just listening to the responses of some kids and families within um, the festival and within the exhibition and the kids, you know, kids and families who ask, you know, what does this head look like? Does it look sad? Does it look happy? Which one is your favourite and why? And just listening to, you know, some of the kids' response, you could just tell that the artwork was talking to them because it showed them how the artists themselves felt. Did your mind change when you um, first started your work? Like, you know, what was you thinking about? How was you feeling? Like, you know, was you happy, sad? Did it change the way how you wanted to make your face look? Mm -hmm. well, when I went to that now, sewing tears helped me. I knew how you changed. I just want to show people, you know. That's what is happening in everybody's life. That's what I could think to do this one now. To show everybody the 
Alexa out uh, and feeling all of you all. That's how you feel when you have broken up. And now I can have my I can have changes now. Just moving along, I'm just doing my heart. It's just so and so and so. That's my future. I just changed my life. I got a good life. Because I left drinking and now I just keep on moving. To show the second love in here and I'll take and come in and do half. Be showing them. I ask them come along and do something. You invite it back to the heart center. So you can find a future for all your kids. And that's what we can do this. And I that's what I've been thinking about to do in your big bar, you know. And these more I'm thinking. Some are closing their eyes and thinking you can look on top of them. All right, then that's my story. I changed my life. And this is my story. And thank you, gentlemen and ladies. Thank you for listening to us. Just one more question for the ladies. Um, how did you feel when we went down to Adelaide last year and we seen your work a part of the Sanati exhibition that was there? How did you feel when you seen your work in the big gallery there? When we when I went walk in. Yeah, when we first seen it. I just I've been just walk in. I've been see all them heads. <laughs> Even just flashing. My heart was really hoping to see them. How can we put a lot of colors in it? So much sadness and so much crying. And some are closing their eyes and thinking, what I'm going to do in this world? You can see them there. I'm looking at them here. <laughs> Through Trudy Dunn's earth, her face, that her face is there. <laughs> and she's hungry. I'm just uh, so sad. I always be sad. Just wandering around from my place to art center. It's full of thinking. I have to think, not think about anything no more about my family. It's just me left. It's my children. But I got a few days now. I've been changed my mind now. No more. I did that to show show it to everybody. Gotta stop thinking of family. Just move along with the future now. Well, I'm having good future by doing sewing. Like people do their work with paint, do their stories, but we tell our stories too. Oh, Lila? Oh, yeah. And yeah, I'm just going to mention yesterday oh. when we were talking, I asked Trudy, how did she feel when she seen her head in the gallery? She said when she walked in, she felt sad because the head looked sad because it was hungry and had no food. In the gallery. <laughs> yeah. 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 I think most people here are probably getting a little bit hungry too, eh? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Teresita, this is such a great project that you've um, had the chance to work on. And I think it's really interesting when you think about you know, particularly Aboriginal Australian art, some of those stories in there and they're, they're tough stories 
And I think um, the work that's happened through these organisations has helped people tell some of those tough stories, you know, and you're saying that, you know, you don't have to think about it. You make it, you make that sad-looking face and then you keep looking to the future and, yeah. and it's a really beautiful kind of way of thinking about mm. these amazing sculptures. You want to tell us a little bit more about your experience down at Tarnandi last year? Yep. Um, yeah, it was, a great, it was a great time, you know, seeing the different works in the, in the exhibition. You know, canvases, 3D objects, works on paper, soft sculptures. And, um, yeah, I went down to, during Tanavi, did the floor talk um, with the gallery and talked to families and children about the works within the gallery. And then I got another opportunity to go down to Mount Gambia um, to travel with the Art Gallery of South Australians on the road program, start program, which is a program that travels with um, one of the artists, or oh, the artist's works that has a lot of um, a lot of small objects around on the head about what's going on back in the art centre. And there will be an image coming up with the head. Um, yeah, when I went down to Mount Gambia, we had spent a day there at the Civic Centre and we got children to express themselves through, not sewing, but the images that I'm showing, just using um, fabrics, just to put on the, um, the fabric about how they feel and to express themselves. You know, the children made some of the works that are showing now. You know, we had children making their little heads. Some were cheeky, showing the um, children. As you can see just on the far, far right image, that was one of the artists' heads that they did, um, it, which has a tent there, which means the artist loves camping, a cup of tea and a plate of cakes, which the artist enjoys within the art centre on their little breaks. A um, cup of tea there with the tea bag hanging out. I wish I could zoom in, but it's just on the top of the tent. It has a lucky like, tea bag hanging out of it. Yeah, as you can see, it was freezing down in Man Gambia. We was inside, so I was pretty rugged up. <laughs> and yeah, this is an image that um, I, you know, I wanted to share because this little girl really you know, took her time into that little piece that she made. And she, she, wants to, she, she, can, she looks happy in the image, so she made her little face look happy as well. She's working with their mum. This is the team that I travelled with from the Art Gallery of South Australia, the head there. And um, yeah, Mount Gambia is a different place. And there's a sinkhole in the background, which was a big surprise for me coming coming down there from the centre here, where you know we're used to seeing big ranges around us. And yeah, I'd like you know, take this time to thank. Art Gallery of South Australia for giving me this opportunity working, you know, with the artists' works and, you know, like the artist said, like Trudy said, the works are made within the art centres and leaving the art centres into these big institutions and, you know, it's an eye-opener for the artists to see where the artwork is going once it leaves the art centres. Yeah. And, then, and one more question, you know, like you're a, a young woman and it's a big responsibility talking on behalf of all of these senior artists that you work with. How do you, you deal with that, you know, being in that position all the time? I feel privileged, to be honest, like, as a young person, you know, learning from the artists themselves, listening to their journeys and just listening to their stories, kind of how they grew up, you know, and my generation grew up differently and... You know, the fact that they put their journeys through these artworks that they make, you know, it's a, it's a big learning curve for me because, yeah, like I said, you know, I'm learning, learning from the artists as elderly, elderly, elderly woman. Um, but yeah, like I said, you know, I feel privileged to be part of that and, like I said, I'm not speaking up on behalf of the artists. You know, the artwork speaks for itself. Mm -hmm. The artist is expressing themselves through their work. It's a really, really great answer. And I should probably also thank the Art Gallery of South Australia for the money they gave me for the exhibition that I worked on last year. Yeah. So thank you, wherever you are. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah.
So, ladies, thank you very much for your amazing presentation. So, if everyone could give a big round of applause uh, for everything. Thanks, Teresita.